Uh, but first, a new parenting book out called Nurture Shock claims everything we thought we knew about raising our offspring, offspring, <laughs> offspring <laughs> is that, children, is actually wrong. Uh, now, one area they talk about is how much you should praise your children, claiming that parents should refrain from boosting up their children too much, as it could lead to them underperforming. They say that limit the amount of praise and focus on effort rather than achievement. Do not praise innate gifts, say, like, you know, they're really good at singing or dancing or something like that. Is there such a thing as too much praise? And how much has praise affected you when you were growing up? Well, I just praise my kids all the time. I'm sorry, but I just do. I, I don't think you can praise them enough. They're under such stress, mm -hmm. to be honest, at the moment, kids, with exams and having to achieve this, that and the other. I just think, you know, you, you really have to hand it to them that they're coping at all. Mm. And I do think the things that we, we learn as kids affect us in, in later life. I mean, in, in my childhood, for instance, there wasn't so much praise. It wasn't the traditional then you know my parents weren't praised and so you know they didn't praise us all that much they never for instance said oh you've got a fantastic voice you must go and be an opera singer and that was just something I passionately had but to do. But when you did become an opera singer did they come and see you do they come and see you and go you're a fantastic opera singer which you are do well, they do that not now? not really they come and see me but they're very careful to keep the praise uh, you know pretty low Muted. key because they don't want my two sisters to feel that they don't equally value what they've done with their lives and, and, and I think my sisters are amazing and we you know we're equal Fully mm. successful mm. Um, but I, I, I do worry my dad when I was a kid for instance he he always had this idea and I, I bless him for it because he you know he just wanted us to keep striving to be better but he'd always want us to do the next better th the better thing you know so yes that's good but you could you could try yes, you could I do know. it better that's and awful. that's affected yeah. me quite badly if I'm absolutely honest I, I know he meant meant it well he, you know you, you, best you strive for praise a, a, a well lot of I just time. never feel I'm good enough mm. I never feel anything I do is good enough really I'm sorry but you know if I see myself oh. so do you, do <laughs> I you, right now, stop it you know. <laughs> do, you, do you try and overcompensate because of that with your own children yes I'm sure I do I'm sure I, I you know I, I, I always say to them if if you've it's the old thing if you've yeah. done your very best then that to me is mm. perfect mm. It, you know it's the best you can do it's perfect that's, um, that's our definitely our motto if that's the word at, mm. at home that it doesn't matter if you come bottom of the class yeah, hopefully yeah. you won't but if you don't as long as that as it's long as it you've given you it your best your best shot mm. and I think I, I think I agree you know with, with you that I don't think you can you can praise enough not false praise I mean I'm not gonna you know yeah. but Did you um, get loads of praise as a kid? I think yeah, I think I got I think I got enough praise. I mean, I got praised for some things. I mean, I never got praised for my academic um, prowess, <laughs> I, I could say. Why so was I was relieved when I was stuck when I was about 14 and and I started getting into school drama and stuff and, and started to get pats on the back for the first time yeah. fr from my peers yes. and, and from the teachers. Yes. My parents had always praised me for, for other things. And they would, they, you know, they would praise us for, for behaviour and manners and just, you know, and that's what I'll do my kids, to my kids. Say, oh, I was so proud of you today. You yeah. know, everybody's... The other night when we took Matthew out and everyone was going, oh, what a lovely lad he is and everything. And I sort yeah. of, you know, praised him I for think, that. I think there is... Sorry, I think there is a, a line, though, because it's like if you keep constantly, especially with a girl or whatever... You you keep going, oh, do you know you're so beautiful? Look mm. at her, isn't she beautiful? Isn't my daughter beautiful? She could grow up to be a right vain old moo. Don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously said too much to you, Andrew, when <laughs> then, you were little. you'd goes... seen me when I was younger, <laughs> no. You know what I mean? There is another way. And there's also parents out there that their kids yeah. can do no wrong. And, you know, and, and the kids be can become really overconfident and then full of themselves what, and what then I want to pull them kids? down you have a peg to praise or two. what's real don't you have, you? To, you have pray, to praise, praise what's real. honestly you know and, and not if what they you, get and if they get be. too big-headed mm. about something I always have to remind my kids that yeah, yeah. you're really good at that mm. but can I just tell you there will be ten other people so much better mm. than you so did I tell you about that woman at that nursery just very quickly <laughs> be the best I at everything yeah. feeling, I went actually. to um yeah. I, I went I went horse riding in Cornwall a couple of years ago and there was this lovely girl I met who had left working in this nursery because she said the political correctness was just had just gone you know just ridiculous and she had been told that she couldn't say to little Simon oh Simon's got some new shoes you look handsome in those shoes because that would breed an arrogance in him oh. for later later life just ridiculous. Now, I just 
think that's just the world gone yeah, mad. Absolutely. Do you know what I mean? I mean, there, there is a fine balance. I mean, my, I'm, I'm very lucky. I think my parents got it just right in that, um, you know, we, both my sister and I, we, we found our feet and what we were good at, and you were praised at that in the yes. same way that I'm trying to do with Finley. Now, bless him. Hopefully he's at school and he's not listening. He's not very good at football. Um, so we tried that, and we're like, yay! I will he's not laugh if he's off that. sick today. I know. <laughs> I hope not. He's ruined but, his life. But we found he's good at swimming. So we, now when he comes back, we say, oh, teacher says you're doing really well and, you know, good for you and it looks like you're really coming on. You know, you boost them up that way. But at the same time, he forgot his homework yesterday, so we got a real telling off. Mm. And so you, you sort of balance it of that way. It's, it's really interesting. Um, Claudia Winkleman was talking in uh, She Magazine this month and uh, she's talking about that she was adored, obviously, by, by, by her mummy, Pollard. And, uh, you know, basically, she'd get a massive round of applause for making a wonderful omelette. And it made her feel that she could go Do out anything. and sort of conquer the world. Mm -hmm. So there, there is that sort of fine line there, really. Um, don't overpraise we too much of the right little magic. We were love. talking earlier and just explaining oh, to Leslie no. that Claudia Winkleman was Eve, was Eve Pollard's um, daughter. And we saw this confusion in her face. She thought that she was Sue Pollard's daughter. <laughs> 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 it was a very funny moment. Oh! <laughs>